Uh, so Alex, show me how a clean car works then. So I can't show you, John, but I'll certainly talk you through it. Essentially, a uh, clean car uses a small device like this one here. We plug it into the uh, cigarette lighter. Yep. And uh, what it does is it measures your real world driving. We're then able to compare that to the capabilities of an electric or hybrid vehicle and show essentially if you're suitable for uh, an EV or hybrid. Globally, the compound growth rate's around about 19%, um, believed to be a market of around about 109 billion by 2019. Uh, in the UK, the market's currently growing at around about 50% compound growth rate. So uh, yeah, it's a pretty impressive market. There's not many uh, growing quite like it, not many as big. You're raising funds. Um, what for exactly, and when do you think the payback would be? Okay, so we're raising funds ultimately to try and grow the uh, clean car business. We've we've pretty much nailed the tech. So we are able to collect the data and we're able to do a very, very convincing whole life cost analysis. A whole life cost is essentially its ability to be able to say, you know, will somebody benefit from an electric vehicle or not? And we can do that very well for fleet customers. What we're trying to do is raise funding to really, really nail that down, to make it as simple as possible. So we literally just have to give somebody a device Device. and from there you know the system does absolutely everything but as well we, we need to take it into Europe and we need to take it into the United States you know the, the question that we answer which is you know essentially will an electric vehicle work for me or not you know is a question that they are asking globally presumably um, emissions is an issue as well so the whole emissions thing is uh, is huge you know come 2018 any taxi that uh, comes on the road in um, in, in London is going to have to be zero emissions. Um, you know, I think the, the interesting thing is uh, we could help TfL and taxi drivers understand if an electric taxi is going to be the right choice for, for them and is going to save them uh, money going forward. And when I'm talking to people about electric vehicles, range seems to be um, something that comes up a lot. You know, will I break down on the motorway? The simple fact is that for a lot of people, you know, 99% of their journeys are going to be perfect. And actually, the savings you could make having an electric vehicle, certainly in the UK, could be around about two and a half grand a year. What kind of savings are on offer to, to a fleet company, for instance? Well, it, the interesting thing with fleets is it's not just the company, but it's also the driver. So when right. you consider with a fleet, they're going to save money on running costs, you know, to run an electric vehicle. You know, a driver who is driving an electric vehicle is going to see significantly better um, personal taxation, benefiting kinds, ah, as it's called in right. the UK. So I suppose we should really tell them, you know, how do you make money? How do we make money? We make money in a number of ways. Um, you know, we see ourselves as a, a SaaS, you know, software as a service business, and we do have, uh, because of that, a recurring revenue. We're working with a number of leasing companies at the moment uh, where we're helping them, essentially, to understand if, you know, their customers should have electric vehicles or not. And, you know, there's an opportunity to take, essentially, a brokerage fee on... Oh, so um, like a commission. Absolutely. Yeah. The data, you know, the same data we're recording can be used for a number of different... Uh, uses, you know, be used um, by you know, local councils and large businesses um, for things like car sharing. And so will Clean Car have an app? Uh, we already have an app. You've got yes, an app. Oh, we brilliant. have an app. Okay. So we have an app, an uh, iOS app. You don't necessarily just need this device then because this is collecting GPS data, right? We can take GPS data from virtually any device. Um, yes, phone, we have a USB um, device that you plug into the cigarette lighter, plug into the side of your laptop and then right. upload the data. We've got two different GPS devices that we're working with that sit in the cigarette lighter, and we have an OBD2 device. The difficult thing with electric vehicles is that real-world usage. And what we do is we couldn't make it any easier. We basically give that user a device, we can send it in the post, they plug it into the cigarette lighter of their car, that's it, we do the rest. And so you go to a portal and you download a report or you view the results of suitability. We, we look at it from two angles, the driver and also the fleet manager. Right. So the driver, you know, they need to understand that the car is going to benefit them. Okay. So they, they get to see their own portal with their own little dashboard. And that's private data, is it? Absolutely, private. it's completely private. Ultimately, you know, the, th the thing I say, if I'm asked to sum it up very quickly, you know, we are a solution that expedites the tipping point for, you know, electric vehicles. It certainly sounds like this is an exciting opportunity, Alex, and uh, I know that you're actually giving me a lift to the station, so thank you for that. How much do I owe you? 
I, I'll let you off this time because, to be honest with you, my electric was free on the way down, and uh, uh, it's. Uh, I don't think we've uh, used up too much uh, of the tyres. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll call it a deal at free. Okay. Well, that sounds like a good investment to me. <laughs> it is. Yeah. yeah.